Well, it's uh, the most important thing is, is like I said last week, and and uh, you know this week the the bottom line is we won the game. We found a way to do it, and um, we're two and one, and uh, we got to work and get ready for the next one. Uh, our defensive football team uh, continues to play outstanding football. Uh, they did a great job. I don't think that uh, they crossed the 50-yard line except for one time, and that was on interference call. Uh, you know, uh, you know, playing with uh, two young safeties, you know, that hadn't played a lot. I thought they really grew up and played, you know, uh, better than they did last week. And, um, you know, we're just playing really, really, really good defense right now. And, and then our punter played well. The punter kept them back in, you know, tough field position inside the three and the 10 and the 12 and made that offense go a long way. So, you know, they, they did a, you know, Pete did a nice job. And then, um, you know, we offensively, it was a struggle. And uh, we did what we had to do down the stretch to, to win the game and get the clock out and so forth. But we, we struggled and, uh, you know, I'm responsible. You know, I'm the head coach and we got to, you know, uh, you'll sit here and ask me all the perfect questions and I don't know if I got all the answers right yet. So until I watch film and evaluate it and so forth. But, uh, you know, um, you, you, we got, you know, we didn't handle it very well up front and it all starts there and, you know, we uh, didn't play very well, but we won the game and, and uh, defense did that and they'll be down the road. It, uh, it will switch and, and uh, it's team game. And so we got to get better. We're two and one and uh, could be, could be a hell of a lot worse. So uh, excited about winning. The kids are excited and now we move on and, uh, Try to try to go to work. I mean, and and try to continue to get better. Jerry, how do you fix your offense? That's a good question. You know, I mean, I don't have the answer right now. I mean, I haven't watched the film. You know, I haven't evaluated. I'll have that answer. You know, hopefully for you more on Tuesday. And and uh, you know, we just got to keep plugging away. I mean, we're you know we're not running the ball very well. Uh, that's where it all starts. Um, you know, uh, you know we're we're just uh, you know we're just not executing, and uh, so we got to find a way to to do that better. And uh, you know, uh, you know I'd sum it up. I'm not very doing a very good job of coaching. I'm the head coach, so but uh, you know got to find a way to do it. That's my job. But uh, you know we gotta you know we gotta we gotta coach better and and we gotta play better. And we can't make excuses about we got these guys hurt and that guy hurt. You know. Heck, that's that's part of this deal, you know. You got to play, and uh, so uh, you know, physically, you know, I thought we got it handed to us. What you know, way I look at it, and uh, that hasn't been our nature. So uh, you know, and you certainly wasn't a very good halftime, and it wasn't very good on the sidelines. I got involved down on the boundary. I mean, we just, I don't know, just didn't didn't play very well, and uh, so we've got to, you know, don't have the magical answer right now, but I better get it. You know, or I don't deserve to be here. So I mean, we we better get the answer. Is your defensive line doing something special, a king or something like? That? Nah, there was nothing special about what they're doing. Now they they did a lot more blitzing and selling out than they have in the past, and you know they mixed up their coverages and things of that nature. But nah, that's that'd be an excuse, you know. What was your thought, Coach, on? Uh, Maybe using more than no huddle than you used, or how do you kind of how do you kind of figure that out today? Well, you know, it's it's one of those one of those things again is that you for what they do and in some of the stuff in no huddle, they're pretty well prepared for it. And when we you know started to show it, they did you know they did some things that you know we you know it wasn't going to affect them from slowing down the blitz or anything. They're pretty well trained for no huddle. And again, you know we you know right now we. You know, Joe Borkland's playing left guard, and uh, that's the only left guard we have right now. And you know, we you know we're gonna have to pull red shirt off, and we're gonna have to do some things to to create some depth there. So because uh, John's out, and we played camping at guard during practice, but in offensive line you have to have continuity, and uh, we just don't have any continuity, and we need to make sure we find it. So. Emory was loosening up a lot during the second half. Was, were you close to switching QBs there? And did the score make it tough 
Because it's so close that you, you really can't experiment? I'm not going to make any comments on the quarterback. And I'm just not – I mean, that's not being disrespectful or anything like that. But, you know, you're, you, all, you all are going to make your – your deals on the quarterback, and I'm just not going to comment on it today. So, and, and I'm not being mean or anything. That's not fair to me to talk about anything with the individual kid. You can talk with me, but you know, so I'm just not going to make any comment. And I'll uh, talk to y'all on Tuesday after I watch the film. We plan to uh, rotate uh, quarterbacks like you have earlier in the season. I'm not going to make any comments on the quarterback. Can you talk about Mitch? I mean, he, he'll throw great passes, and then he'll underthrow other I'm balls. not going to comment on the quarterback. Do we have any questions now about the quarterback? What did you like especially from your defense today? Well, their aggression in the right place and at the right time. And, and uh, you know, they, uh, again, aggressive. And, you know, they're just playing with a lot of confidence right now. They, they really are. And the other side's not playing with a lot of confidence. So, you know, it's, I've been places where it's been switched. But uh, right now we got a defensive unit that believes and they're confident in what they do. And, uh, you know, they're playing very well right now. And uh, it's our job to, you know, as a team and, you know, like Coach Clays, he's been on the other side of it too and when couldn't stop somebody in offensive score. So, you know, we're as a staff, we've always picked each other up at one time or the other. And, you know, that's what we'll continue to do. Well, I, I, again, I, we haven't had the same offensive line from one week to the next, and you know you got to build continuity there. So, am I uh, wish that uh, did I think we'd be better at this time and so forth? Sure, you know, no doubt. Jerry, uh, ben Lauer played a little bit, and then was out. Uh, Brandon Lingen uh, didn't play. Can you give us any update on either of them? Yeah, Brandon Lingen's got a concussion, so he didn't play. So we had three tight ends out. And then uh, Don Delay didn't play on defense. Two safeties didn't play on defense. I think we had seven guys that were out. Uh, but again, that's that's no excuse. So, and Ben just you know we substituted him. So, how would you compare the overall team effort today compared to your first two games this season? Well, I I, I think you know uh, I don't think effort's the issue. Our guys play hard. I, you know, I think that's not the issue. We, we, you know, we just gotta, we gotta get better on one side of the ball. Do we have any more questions? Did, did you coach? Did you debate a little bit on whether to have uh, have Peter try to pooch that pooch a punt in there instead of having Ryan go on the field goal? Or what was yeah, you we did, we did, uh, but we needed to. We needed the points because we didn't feel like they'd score a touchdown, you know, because we were playing defense. And, you know, Coach Clays and I visited on the phone about it, you know. Uh, didn't want to throw it in that situation because, you know, you've watched a lot of football over the last two weeks. If we'd have thrown it and then it's incomplete, they got a whole lot more time. So, so we'll run it, take the time all the way down. And uh, with, you know, Ryan's got a big foot, so we felt like it'd be automatic and then he hooked it. So, but. You know, that was the thought process into that. You know, three points would have been big and so forth. But we did a good job and smart by running down the clock. They didn't have any timeouts left, made them use all their timeouts, ran the clock down as low as we can get it. And uh, so that's that's why we did what we did. They had a cornerback uh, Monday made the two interceptions and stripped the ball from still there. Was he a guy on tape that you guys were – Thought he had that kind of game in him. Well, we, you know they they've got some they've got some good players, and you know he had a heck of a game against us. And uh, you know, the coach did a great job. You know, coach did a good job coaching his team, and they played hard. And he needs to be very proud of them. They did a good job. That's exactly what I told him when the the game ended.